All right. <laughs> Grand finals, but uh, I wish both teams played like they uh, Currently, a, a, they grand, a grand whooping. Their Fnatic is getting a whooping. They had a better draft for this second game, uh, but they weren't able to uh, to really execute it the way that it was planned. Team Secret is now 2-0 up in this best of five. Here with uh, Capitalist Pigeon and Perion Flax. Yo. Cap. Yeah. I'll start out with you. You you saw the draft from Fnatic. You went with Fnatic. You thought they looked good. This second game didn't happen though. Nope. And I will never back Fnatic again. Wow. I That's a little wrong. I, I think thing. their their draft was. I think their draft was fair enough. I think they definitely had timings where they could have won. After yeah. all, there was um, early on to the game. They were up three or four k. I felt like they should have been able to take some of those team fights. And then if they take those team fights then they would have been able to transition themselves into a pretty strong mid-game. But Team Secret could always manage to catch them out. Yeah. Constantly. It was a combination of, like, superior vision and superior positioning. A little bit of that comes down to the Wisp as well and the strong initiation that Batrider gives you. But I still feel like, uh, ultimately, Team Secret were just outplaying Fnatic in a lot of ways. Yeah, Pigeon, it was... It was a rough life for the bear. Lone Druid has been historically very successful for Fnatic, but not this game. Yeah, was, um, someone's going to have to call Pedder because that, that was just unfair. I mean, the other issue I think that <coughs> is not given enough attention is the fact that the Bristleback was just like, like I think from about, what, 10, 12 minutes in, it seemed like he was just top of net worth. Every time I looked at net worth, he was still up there. Yep. And it's like, that's, that's one of those heroes, especially when you couple it with like, someone like an IO. It does so much in these these fights. I mean, I remember there was one fight where they tried to jump straight under the bristle in the top lane, and he got out, but he killed Timbersaw before he left. Yep. And like th that was just it. Just got to a point where Fnatic couldn't really engage with Secret. They were more reactive all the time. Yeah, Ted. Yeah. You knew it all along. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm good. But you have like the but last I have two been days. Quite an awful lot. Your predictions have been on point. Just saying, you can doubt and you can flame, but check the VODs, folks. Check the VODs. <laughs> the details are all there. I, I mean, I, I just think Secret outplayed them. I think, personally speaking, in that game, what it seemed to me like you had Universe wanted to go off on his own and get some farm. Yep. Abed wanted to go off on his own and get some farm. Lone Druid wanted to go off and get some farm and split push and stuff like that. And because they had the Batrider, and Fog said to take note of Puppy's warding in that game, yeah. what he said was top draw. And Fnatic were unable to deward them. So they had this vision for this jump. They were able to get in there and get these pickoffs just over and over and over again. And even though Abed was very, very hard to kill, I mean, he, you know, the Bristol just got too big. Even yeah. the Silver Edge, when that came out, by then it was too late. And they just got the job done. This PL, we said, is PL going to be able to get there? They've got this tough team. Are they going to be able to get there in time? Is PL going to get to that late game? And I was like, Fnatic don't normally close these games out as quick as they might. Yeah. So they probably will get some time. And they did. They did indeed. Uh, we have a replay for you guys as well. And uh, Cap and Pigeon, you're both on, uh, on replay duty. Pigeon, I know you're, uh, Are we double you're, big, you're big on the drawing on the map. Because we both can't. So it's all about okay, you. Okay, so it's all about me. All right, what's here, happening? This looks really great. You get rid of the IO first of all. And like the, oh my god, I'm drawing everything everywhere. But you see this this here? This is a bristle. He's very I fat. net worth. Killing loads of people. Now he runs in and let you jump. You get interrupted, but puppy again. It's a bristle. You can't run away from the bristle. He's gonna kill you. You're dead as well. By envy, you're gonna die. Dead. Blood. Everyone. Nice hoost on, by the way. But by envy and and Fuzz like, hey, you know, it's all good. You, you could chase me afterwards, but there's a bristle. He's here again. No, oh, he's going back now. He's off. Back. He's like, bye, I'm happy, okay? You know, we lost someone in return, but I'm a bristle back. At that point, that fight should have been in favour of... Uh, <laughs> in favour of... <laughs> you gave me a real headache. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear that. I, uh, you see now. <laughs> I think that uh, part of what that fight showed was the fact that the Timbersaw comes back into this engagement and he gets this really good setup where he gets this chalk on under like three different people and everything, but he still doesn't do enough damage to, to really be able to threaten that Bristleback. Mm -hmm. And part of that is the net worth difference between the two. Yeah. And they had the Timbersaw against the Bristleback, but the couple of well-timed ganks from Team Secret, and in general, just Team Secret just played this game very fast. It felt like they were always all over the map. They were always the ones bringing more numbers to these engagements, and Fnatic was always the one scrambling to be able to get their heroes, get their allies in position. 
Um, another part would I would say would be the fact that Fnatic supports are not ever going to feel very effective against this lineup. Um, when you do have these cores that want to play pretty self-sufficient, like Lone Druid and Timbersa, they don't play very well with others. And the Rubik and Chen um, did not feel like they were going to be able to do a whole lot for you. No. So if anything, they had to secure the Timbersa better laning phase to make sure that in, in team fights like that, Timbersa is the most dominant force, and not the Bristleback. Yeah. yeah, basically what I said. A few different words, but yeah, more or less. I, I could tell with the drawing on the map. I, it was very, very You clear. just had to be able to read between the lines. <laughs> this is why I love Cap. He, he understands me. Let's take a look at uh, what you guys voted for the MVP. Um, was it the bristle? There was a little bit of... Uh, it wasn't the bristle. Right, we ignore the top. We ignore the top, so, so it was the bristle back. The bristle. It's the bristle. It they're back to their bad old ways. Come on, Twitch chat. We had it yesterday. Yeah, we had a good we, relationship. We had a good day, yeah. We thought we moved past this. I thought we were onto something, but yeah, didn't happen. I mean, overall, I, you know, it was a rough game for Fnatic. Um, we thought their draft was better, or at least uh, you know they had a better shot than the than the first game. And we we've been talking a lot about how Fnatic has been improving over time and how they've been adjusting over time. And this is you know a best of five series. You've got you get two chances basically. You know, you lose the first one, you get two chances to recover. Mm -hmm. They didn't do it this time, but they came closer. Maybe they do it in the third in the third game. Uh, oh, an instant press from Ted. He was I'm, not. I'm a veteran at this point. He was not I know about that. Just instincts. Owen has a plan. He has a plan. Oh god. Oh dear. Owen has a plan. Where is Owen? What, what's he's the shake, plan? He's shaking his head and saying, "I don't have a plan." He's got that big grin, and something's coming. What was? I don't have a plan. Oh, Ted what's has my plan. plan? Thomas has. Thomas, Thomas, Thomas has what, a plan. what are we doing? Go oh, on. Thomas has a plan. Okay, someone has. That's good. Oh, Ted. Owen, go fulfill the plan. Have a jam sesh? Come on, Owen, let's do it. Do we the plan. Do All right, let's do it. <coughs> like these guys actually bye play bye instruments, boys. so we'll just observe. Right. Yeah. Okay, I'm very bad. I don't actually know how to play the drums. I'm even worse. Cap, lead commentary on their. Uh... Absolutely not. <laughs> Are we gonna have singing with it? No. Oh. Have we got any singers? Yes, like. You are going to. No, I don't know the lyrics. So I learned how to do this this morning. So it'll probably go badly wrong. Oh all right. God, that's what you. Oh, this, okay. this is like the first session. Wait, of wait, wait. So when you said, "Yes, of course, I play everything," it was a complete lie. You I were totally lie. I play no music okay. instruments at all. You have full Dream League to being in the drummer seat. So yeah, they, they called you out. But okay. I had some coaching. Okay. Five minutes of coaching, and we're away. Okay. All right, let's do it. Ready? Stopping? What about the outro? Oh, okay, we do the outro. Yeah, they had an outro. <laughs> you ready? Wait, are we, am I going to cue us into the outro? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now okay. the outro. <laughs> yeah, some groupies after that. Okay. Did we break anything, Thomas? Are we good? I hope you didn't break anything. Okay, good, good, good. Ted, I will allow you to sit back on the couch, but because these two didn't participate, Pigeon and Cap, you're out. Oh. Get oh. off my sofa. Get off the sofa. I was going to flash myself for Ted. Oh. Whoa! That was a powerful <laughs> performance. <laughs> yeah. hey, that's, after, that's after 11, okay? <laughs> God, I think I'm we do have someone it, else yeah. knocking on the door. Knock, knock, knock. It is honestly, it's very therapeutic. Dream I can imagine doing that at the end of a long day, just thrashing away. Is there someone there? <laughs> yeah, there is someone there. Come on in, friend. Yeah. Woo. Welcome back, Will. It's What's the up? bad guy in a movie's bodyguard. We missed you. <laughs> we established this. You <laughs> stole that from me. Yeah, and he's the one that dies first. Thanks, Thomas. That was, uh, it was nice. It was fun. Did you know Ted could drum? Ted cannot drum. I absolutely knew that he could not drum. <laughs> he knew 100% I, I could was not drum. I was a thousand percent certain that he could not do that. <laughs> I don't know why you guys bought into that lie so But easily. it worked out. Did it? it? It sounded like a song. If I told you I could drum and I sat down and did that, you'd be like, why did you lie? Then I, I would not. I, I would have said, Ted, it is very clear that you could not drum. Exactly. Could you have done a better job? Absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to make you do it. I have tiny hands. I can't do it. The drums, the, what? the sticks do all the work. You got tiny power. You have the sticks. No, no, but it's like uh, it is all it's in the, the way that it's, it's, yeah, it's the, the momentum of it. People with tiny hands can't play instruments. It is. 
I think you've probably insulted a lot of musicians out there. Did I? I'm sorry. Small-handed musicians, tweet pictures of your tiny hands at us. <laughs> and we'll figure it out. Don't do that. I'm, I was just trying to insult myself. Oh, okay. We're good. All right, we're here for Dota. We're grand finals, and we have a 2-0 up for Secret, and it has been looking pretty dominant from their point of view. And uh, we wanna, we wanna have, uh, we wanna have Fnatic, you know, take a game. Yes. Yes. What did they need to do for that? Uh, I felt like last game draft number two was like pretty good actually. Right. Yeah. And the lanes seemed to be going okay. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. actually pretty okay with what things they did, but uh, I don't know. More discipline, better warding. My puppy schooled them on warning last they game. He did. He did. He played also sand king position five. We don't see that very often. Yeah. Did he win MVP? No. No. It was Ace, uh, did. Ace on Bristol. Who won the actual MVP? Ace did. Ace did. No, like, but who won the? Oh, Envy did. Envy did. Because mm. Twitch chat is never me. disappointed. That is the <laughs> sound of disappointment right there. I'm not. At oh. this point, I've fully embraced the. Embraced oh. It. I've embraced it. I love it. Be just, you guys. Just saying that to try and get. Let your flag fly. He just he just wants to You're get proud. I'm super proud. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So game three, we have a draft, and hopefully uh, we have Fnatic getting um, a little bit more comfortable heroes. And I know that while I'm saying that, they actually did have comfortable heroes in that f second game. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Something puppy said. He said we gotta cook. We gotta be snappy and shit. <laughs> I think uh, they do. Okay, yeah. but I'm going to ignore that part for now. Yeah, ignore that It'll part for now. It'll be a surprise. Uh, I don't know. Fnatic, though, game number two, it, it seriously felt as though they were just demoralized a little bit. Yeah, they kind of looked like even when they got what they wanted, they, I mean, they, at no point did I really see them say, all right, guys, let's group up and dominate for a second. Yeah. You know, let's, let's all get behind this timber who's, they could not kill the timber, yeah. but it ended up not mattering, right? The thing about coming back in best of five series and like being able to do the reverse sweep. I got reverse sweep. It was at uh, DreamHack Atlanta versus Liquid actually. Right. Is They were like on the verge of understanding what we were doing. Yeah. And then they figured it out. Like, Crow was like, this is what DC can only do these things. We got this. And then we got rolled. Right. In the rest of that series. And it doesn't, I don't know if Fnatic are at that stage where they're just like, okay. It takes two games. They've cracked it. They yeah, know how to just beat like, you. We figured it they're out. They, they're doing this every game because Secret is way too varied. Yeah, no, they they never they know they definitely don't seem to have one style, right? You wouldn't you wouldn't define it. They just always. That's why I said I think they're going to win because they just they have so much class and they outplay teams. And they even if a lane doesn't go well, they seem to be able to come back. They just and I think you know we, we said Puppy's warding in that game was fantastic, but he, he's a great captain, leads the team very calm, and I just think he he just leads these teams brilliantly. Yep. They always seem to have a plan. I mean, um, we heard Japs or, or what was it, Paladai at the start of this? Um, or either, well, somewhere during this tournament. We heard someone say that they are in a great mindset mm -hmm. coming into this grand finals. And that they're just, you know, they're easy, there's no pressure. It does make me worried, though, if they ever have a tournament where the pressure will be on, name it TI or Major, perhaps, who knows. I wonder if they can perform at the same level. I mean, I think. People as a whole, like Finch, they should be patient because this is still a relatively new roster. Yes. They're starting to finally get into the swing of things. Like they're getting good placements at tournaments. Yeah. They got fourth at uh, the ESL Major. They're top two guaranteed here. They had a very good series against Navi, which was maybe my favorite series the entire year so far uh, at Jakarta. This is an entertaining, fun, young squad. It'll take some time, but I think that secret right now is beast. And they're just rolling. They, Would they lose against Virtus Pro? I mean, that when we're having that kind of conversation, that means that you think that Secret's going to win game three. At the moment, they're looking like they're going to win game three. It's we can, we can spice it up all we like. And I, I like to do that. But you, you know, you give both a chance. But at the moment, it just looks like they are on a different level. That'd be hype, though. Envy would be taken to a new level yeah. of legend if he could reverse this. It would be unbelievable. But it would also, it would be really good. We have seen them adjust. We know that there there is a possibility. We have actually seen them play at that level as well. Yes. And we've we've said also throughout the last couple of days that they are their own worst enemy. Yeah. I think the key here is like not, don't get too afraid. Like they, th they took the tiny last game, they didn't ban it. I like that. I think sometimes people get afraid of heroes because of what they saw. 
uh, and they over commit or over panic. And I like that Fnatic are just like, Gyro's a good hero, guys. We thought that beforehand. Why are we not picking it against them? Yep. They take it. I think that, I mean, Team Secret I don't mind the Gyro. I know they've got a, a plan for it. Yeah. But I think um, if you're a Fnatic, you shouldn't be scared of that plan. You, I mean, geez, you can't you can't just draft yourself into a corner, can you? Like, I don't think Fnatic can constantly, like you said, you can't constantly you can't just play say, with fear. Well, they're good against everything, yeah, so exactly. we might as well just not pick anything. You have to pick five that's heroes, a, like, yeah. that's how this works. I, I hate when people do that. It's just like, well, if one person makes it look OP, d is that universally OP? Shouldn't everybody do that? If that Right, right. If the is hero is naturally just ridiculously yeah. broken. But it's not, I don't know if... There's a good chance the secret takes a Kunkka, but it's like, Fnatic, here's where you prove it. Do you think it's OP? Find out. The Warlock ban, we have seen Fnatic go heavy on the team fight in, in earlier games. Would have been also, nice. I, I think they like the, the safety net it affords them. Yeah. Yeah. It's good in lane. The heal is really good. It's also good for zoning hit people out, and his ult is just insane. The Fatal Bonds with Gyro as well would be really big. I like the Bounty pick a lot, by the way. Uh, I mean, Puppy loves Bounty, right? Yeah, yeah, he does. And he's so good at dipping in and out, getting the scout and getting the vision, warding, de-warding. Bounty's a perfect hero for that. It's cool how they play, too. Like, he's going to be a five Bounty, but it does mean that you need three very independent right. lanes. Like the concept we talked about earlier, the dead lane heroes, you need a lot of them because this Bounty Hunter is not going to help out in your lanes, and that's why you take the Razor is the pairing with it. That's right. the explanation for... It's not just like, oh, Razor is a good hero. Well, right, Razor right. and Bounty work so well together because of this. Do you not think the Bounty's going to like go mid and, and help there? Or? Yeah, and that's why it's a cool pick, too, because uh, it goes in line with a lot of the times Abed, he is going to be such a big focus on the side of Fnatic. If you take this Bounty Hunter, it's hard for them to play like a straight-up dual lane. Right. Because, for example, like think of Abed's iconic heroes, like his Invoker. You don't want to dual lane Invoker Sand King versus Bounty plus one. Like, that's going to feel miserable. Tide ban, Centaur ban. Yeah. So the question now, there's like two questions. The hero that uh, Fnatic was most successful with was the Lycan, and it's good against the Razor. And then you just run. Just run away, yeah. Yeah, and... Second thing too is last time Secret's response to the gyrocopter was the Kunkka and it hasn't been banned. And so this is the question now, if these are the things that happens. So they still need a five position hero too for Pi. Maybe they go like Visage or something and play really fast with Grave Chill. Hmm. They could do that too. Oh wait, no, it's banned. It was second match. I couldn't see it from that angle. Right. Yeah, we have like a, a screen here where it's really tiny, and then we have the monitor, and it's kind yeah. of at the far end I'm of it. Blind. It's hard to see from the sofa. It's okay. We are both short sighted. So that's the Pi Hero? That is the Pi Hero with the Ancient Operation, with yeah. DJ Sand King. They still need uh, a Yapser Hero. There's Witch Doctor, Rubik. Speak of the Devil. There it is. For Fnatic, um... I mean, this is good team fight so far for Fnatic, I think. Yeah. But are they going to play that way? I think it's good balance. They have good lanes, too. They haven't had to show either other quarter, either. Yeah, that's nice. They don't They don't need to reveal where this gyro is going. Like, I've seen Abed play it. I've seen Envy play it. Three picks in and only 24 seconds left in their bonus time. Profit. That says something. Profit, huh? Um, we have seen a, a pie profit, obviously, but this is more like universe profit. Yeah, it's meant to mess with the lanes, because if you think that they're going to be dead lane supports in this game, moving around, nature's profit with the treants is very effective against that. For scouting with the trees or just No, just pressure? harassing. Because if you're a support, unless you're... Well, there's like two supports that don't mind. Uh, but we'll see. What, don't get mind, don't mind getting punched by the trees? Yeah, like Coddle, for example, just blasts. Right. Uh, we saw Visage yesterday just like continuously grave chill them and then right click them there. Mm. But uh, I'm still waiting on Secret. Mm -hmm. They could take... Uh, Kunk is still an option. 
They could take Storm. Would you pick a Storm this early though? I mean, I guess there's not that much lockdown on the side of Fnatic at the moment. Yeah. That being said, there's not that much lockdown on the side of Secret either. Yes. There's not much uh, tower push. I think that in previous game, Secret, they had uh, they could take the time, but it wasn't until minute 17 or something that they took the first tower on the side of Fnatic side. Yeah, no, that's true. Like, if there was a weakness to their draft, maybe the lack of push would be it. I think they're comfortable, though, just taking fights nonstop against Fnatic. Yeah. Yeah. Fnatic seem comfortable taking non-stop fights yeah. against Secret. I mean, you don't need to rush to take a tower if yeah. everybody's dead. Yeah. And if you're comfortable, you have the late game anyway. Yeah, I'm surprised that the Rubik came before the Kunkka. I thought it would have been, but... Ooh, Tiny is still in the pool. Never mind. Tiny is picked. Yeah. I wonder what that gave away. Did you hear them? What? I think I heard them, but I also thought about it about, mm -hmm. like, I don't know, maybe it was him saying it that made You're me like, think huh. about it like subconsciously. It's like, oh yeah, still in the pool. Because we've seen him obviously banned out very early on and yeah. picked very early on in previous drafts. Um, if there's a hero, by the way, for Fnatic that I think would be kind of cool would be um, CK. CK for Fnatic? Yeah. I mean, you got a nice combination with the AA. That's great. Yeah, that would be the hero. The you ult, you just run at this Razor and blow him up insta. He doesn't really care about Bounty Hunter or Rubik either. Which hero, sorry? Uh, CK. CK, yeah, yeah. That would be my... Do you bind SF? Yeah. Like, if I were to last to pick this, I would have taken Secret. I would have thought for sure it would have been Kunkka, and I thought Fnatic would take CK. If you had to ask me, like, what my one and two is are. Mm -hmm. No bonus time left for Fnatic, by the way. Yeah. Remaining. So any time that a secret's taking, I think Fnatic is very happy with it. Yeah. Yeah, they've got one second left, told you. Mm. Uh, they are also talking about CK, actually. <sighs> and they ban it. William, William, William. I had it. Yeah, you <laughs> had it. Read. I didn't even need to listen to them, by the way. No, I know, I know. You said it before they brought it up. Yes. Don't worry. Uh, we are not doubting okay. you. Well, I was pretty all in on that concept, so now I need to read <laughs> it. Uh, so I think then Secret, I think Kunkka is still okay-ish, and you can just go, like, move the lanes around. Yeah. You could go, like, Razor safe lane or Tiny off lane or vice versa. Yeah. That means Fnatic would, like, what's even good against that hero? Ding, ding. Okay, so it is Admiral. a Kunkka. Uh, so that confirms our Kunkka versus Gyro theory that they have. Yeah. They and really it's nice like against that. NP. Yeah, they really like that. And Wave clear. That kind of sells the catch thing as well with the X. Mm -hmm. Precisely. So then Fnatic takes... Mm, I, they have a fighting... They have a good splitty lineup. Oh, they, get, they, they go for the push. They thought it was mid gyro, so now that's going to be a safe lane gyro, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I wonder how... They think gyro is mid. They still think gyro is mid. Okay. <sighs> is this a better draft, Will, for Fnatic? I thought their game two draft was good too. Yeah. And I think their game three draft's not bad. I don't know how the Kunkka versus DP matchup goes though. That's not a matchup I play often. If the DP is mid. Because <coughs> we're going to assume that mid one is playing the Kunkka in this matchup. I mean, C mid you one can is. See it, right? And then Envy's taken Gyro. <laughs> Envy's taken Gyro. And it's gyro. an Abid Prophet. Yeah. So. Okay. I guess if she starts to run him down with a Siphon, he can X her and yeah. Torrent her. Maybe. I think Secret might be just a little bit too good, but I'm yeah. okay with Fnatic lineup. Yeah. Is it going to be back-to-back -back champions for Secret here based on this game three? Yes, it is. All right. What do you think, Ted? You think for the 3-0? Yeah. You know, the la this is this. If that if Fnatic Secret. does, uh, sorry, if Secret does win this game, this will be the third DPC event in a row that gets. Uh, a clean sweep grand final. They deserve it. They've been playing really they well. They would deserve it, actually. They have been playing really well. But let's find out if Fnatic can uh, edge their way back into this grand finals with OD Pixel and Fogged. Thank you very much, GVS Game 3 now. Team Secret up against Fnatic. I'm OD Pixel. I'm here with Fogged. And uh, we finally got that matchup that we've sort of been talking yes. about, waiting to see this 
this this matchup, the secret obviously are the ones that that do like to do it. The the Kunkka in response to a gyrocopter lineup. Yeah. Not only a gyrocopter lineup, as the panel mentioned, a lot of other heroes that this Kunkka can do pretty well against. Yeah, I think Fnatic. I can't imagine that they didn't expect something like this coming, but I think they want to be able to deal with it. I, that might be why they picked this AA, because AA traditionally can be pretty good versus Kunkka, because if the debuff is applied with that uh, Ice Blast, and you already, then the Brum starts ticking down, you can all start popping to that one. But the theory behind the Kunkka, I believe, from Secret, is that with the Rum, you can outlast the Gyro. So a lot about Gyro is about getting your Flax out really quickly and doing all that damage out. So Kunkka, your boat is going to be able to counteract that really heavily, and you have a heavy amount of burst damage to deal with Gyrocopter early on. Because Gyro's pretty, one of those squishy kind of heroes. And we saw this actual exact uh, matchup, right? When it was played from Secret versus Empire, they did these, uh, the Bounty Hunter Kunkka versus the Death Prophet. Yep. And that time, it was actually incredibly Kunkka favored. They, he crushed the Death Prophet. But this time, it is Abed playing that one. So Abed is very skilled mechanical player. We'll see what he's going to be able to do versus this dual lane, though, because the Bounty Hunter does change the matchup up a lot. I mean, we have seen the, the mid-one Kunkka just do very well each and every time that it is picked. Yeah. I mean, if you're playing against it, what, what do you do? Is this a hero that you can try and pressure in the lane? Or like, how do you play around a core Kunkka? Because it's not something that the teams are going to be that used to doing. Uh, I think the big thing is you kill him at the start of the fight. Yeah. You completely burst him so that he can't actually get the boat off. But you get pretty tanky when you are playing this core Kunkka with the talents. Sure, he's not going to take the armor, but once you get to like level 20 and the itemization we've seen a couple of times, you get very, very tank, tank up. Puppy will be able to grab that bounty rune again uh, from away from Universal. So Secret will get the three bounty rune advantage to kick things off. We'll see what sort of lanes come out at the moment. Universe will be backed up by DJ up towards the top. So Fnatic running these dual lanes, and that will be matched for the, the most part for Secret, where with expectations uh, on Puppy to be the most mobile during these laning stages. This looks like the matchup that Secret wanted this time around. The Tiny versus that Nature's Prophet, so you can clear through the Treants, and then the Razor versus that Gyrocopter, so they can put pressure on with the Lincoln. As we said, mid lane, Puppy's gonna start there. Yeah, just this early nuisance and harassment onto Arbet. Yeah, it's pretty crazy how much you can actually get, like, your last hits as a Kunkka versus the heroes like this Death Prophet. Like, sure, you're pretty limited at, like, you know, range, you're gonna get right clicked a lot by DP, but using that Tidebringer to constantly deny. Quite nice, Abed. Doing very well already, though. Three and zero. Mid one has a gigantic creep wave already coming under his tower. Bottom lane, Father. Trying to do his best to keep the static link up against the gyro so he can get that CS advantage down hit. Does have good lock and control between himself and, uh, and the Rubik. A lot of opportunities to build up that static link. And uh, really really punch into some of these heroes, the, the Jar and A. Poppy went for the courier there. I bet being care very careful with it though. Yeah, something that you know, I'm gonna have to see Fnatic be very on point with. So many games where we see a bounty hunter come through and even at the highest levels, as uh, a lot of teams just seem to sort of have those, those moments where their mind lapses and and the, the courier is unwatched and, and gets taken away by the bounty. Yeah, Poppy's been really good in this series in particular about like the warning game and in uh, just his reading of the map movements. So we'll see if he's able to get those courier snipes in mid. Here I see mid one getting very good last hits here. Pretty even coming between these two mid laners. And top universe. Eight denies already. Yeah, holding his own very nice here um, against Ace. Did of course have uh, DJ sort of hanging around and as for Ace, he has uh, pretty much been on his own with Puppy. Uh, focusing on the mid and, and now also moving around towards the bottom lane. So Ace's lane certainly being the one that, that's getting sacked here by Secret. Putting a lot of pressure on Tanvi though. Sure, Fada doesn't have like the craziest amount of last hits, but it's the denies really. Six and seven to the four and three of Envy at the moment. So they actually have to move DJ down to try to secure this. Expecting this pressure coming out from Puppy, they've placed out a preemptive sentry. I'm interested to see what sort of rotations we can have come out from Universe. As he is going to be able to get those sort of early items online very quickly with the farm that he's getting up top. Ace is catching back up now though, getting a bunch of last hits on those trees. So as soon as DJ leaves, he has a much better time versus that Nature's Prophet with the tree grab. I see bottom lane, this tri lane, Fnatic. Seeing if they can get in and involved they have. Kept trying to, to sort of harass with a homing missile, but as it were, secret. Actually able to, to destroy it most of the times before it gets close to them between Fatter and Yap, so just right clicking it down. 
I'm gonna make Fred the pie here. Dragon back. They've got Puppy coming his way. He's looking for the touch to get that slow off. Is it gonna be enough for them to bring down Pie? No, the turnaround's there for Fnatic. They focus the razor. Fada, Coffee's gonna proc. They're surrounded him. They're gonna be able to take him down, or are they? The stick charge is keeping him alive. DJ's gonna get himself out of there with a the sandstorm. They're both splitting. It looks like Fada's actually able to survive this as he keeps his distance, is able to pop this out. It's actually gonna be Secret who claimed first blood as Yapsaw zaps down Pile I die. And they were able to get Fada out of there. That the stick charges. The distance that he was able to keep between himself and the gyro, keeping him safe. I actually cannot believe that he lived there too, because they isolated yeah. him perfectly, right? The full Brocket Barrage, I believe, actually just hit Fada during that. But having those high wand charges, as you are mentioning, from them spamming out the missiles over and over again, was enough for Secret to take that fight. And look at this, immediately towards the mid lane. Mid one. He's got the Tarrant combo. He's also That's got Puppy in as well. He's DJ very low. is there to back up. But with that Burrow Strike Fnatic, they'll be able to get one. They're going to be able to get two. Sentry down. They've got the vision. Perfect time for DJ to walk back out to the lane. Mid one was very low when he walked up there with the Siphon already attached to him there. Good rotation, though, by DJ coming in with the Sentry 2 to make sure they get the bounty. Yeah, did have the, uh, what, the DD rune on the Kunkra. I guess just overestimated his, his damage output mm -hmm. and did not expect DJ to come in like that. Very important play though there for Fnatic. Keeping our bed in a good place, but still the harassment adding up. And again, mid one. Going once again with the combo onto our bed. Our bed will juke out the torrent. Quick siphon keeps Puppy at bay. And our bed will be fine for now. Level six too, so he can now go to the shrine to heal up, but Puppy is not really allowing him to. Well, top ace gets pressured, but TP's back to his tier one. Puppy's looking for the courier oh, here. Oh, he's got a good shot at finding it, but yeah, I guess, yeah, the damage at that the moment. That damage isn't light. Not yet. enough. He could get one hit onto it, that would be all. If he's got the level 2 Shadow Walk, if you get high RNG on your base damage, you actually can one-shot the courier, but it's it's all depending on RNG up to that one, because you have a high damage variance as Bounty Hunter. Top lane. Another bit of a go onto Ace. This time around, he went up for TP. Just walked towards Universe and a quick toss back onto DJ. Make sure that Ace has the space to to keep himself fine. Abed's holding a skill point here, and mid one's about to be level six now, so they will have the boat available if they want to go for that kill threat onto Abed again. Face boots as well on the Kunkka, so he packs that extra bit of a punch. Pretty even farm down bottom. The Gyro and the Razor, pretty much equal in last hits. Pilot Eye has an incredible amount of denies, though, on this AA-12. Now we're going to TP DJ down to the bottom lane. So again, getting the tri lane together, Fnatic, but they they may move elsewhere. They they want to get mobile with this this Envy Jar, as it seems. As they're starting to, to sweep towards the mid lane, I think they expect for another play to come in from Secret on an attempt on Arben's life. And look at this, Arben moves forward. He's sort of baiting this play out. This is buying time for the rest of Fnatic to come in. Arben may still die, though. He gets surrounded and he will. The question is if they can get kills off the back of it. They're trying, but the Torrent holds to turn them back. The homing missile connects. They're trying to focus down Puppy. He's up to the high ground. Universe coming in as well with the TP. Will right click down one of them. They get the bounty hunt to kill. I mean, you can see the intention there from Fnatic with that play. You know, Arbet intentionally going forward to buy time for the rest of Fnatic to come in. Maybe Arbet didn't expect himself to get bursted down so quickly, though, yeah. because he died just far too quickly for Fnatic to react in time, and they only get Puppy for the trade. He tried to throw the silence, right, to stop the X, but the way that the timing works, it actually it ends up just bringing him right back into that boat anyway. But yeah, they were trying to predict that movement, because they're like, okay, Kunkka's six, they want to go yeah. for a play here onto this Death Prophet. So they did read the move, but not there quite in time only getting themselves that Bounty Hunter kill. And Ace during all this, since Universe leaves the top lane. Gets a Down the bottom, they've got the Burrow Strike. It's the Cold Feet prop. Do they have the right click to bring him down? I don't think they do with the backup of Ace. And Yapsaw, the turnaround's gonna be there. They turn towards DJ, Ace gets the toss back. Actually toss DJ back into the face of this Razor. Is that gonna get him killed? Oh, it's not. That was close though. <laughs> that toss got Fada killed. He would be having words with, with Ace, but wasn't the case. Secret, get the kill on DJ. They keep everyone alive. Fast rotation coming out from that safe lane tiny with the 114 skill build. So he's gone for prioritizing the tree tree grab in this instance. Since he's he was laning versus the nature's profit, yeah. so he constantly yeah, wants absolutely. to deal with those treants. Oh, this time around in the lane, secret are the ones to, to actually get the early lead. 2k net worth advantage. Yeah, now mid one is starting to be a more of that active role. He's running around the map a lot more on the Kunkka so they can give this bounty hunter the levels because Puppy 
He wants to get that level 6 as early as possible for the tracks. Some of the cause of Fnatic as well. Then. Top. They Arben. will find Fada here. And Envy, they go for the chase down. DJ has the Burrow Strike. Looking for Fada, they got the body blocks. Buying time for Universe to TP in mid one. Does drop out of the boat. The silence is out onto both of them. They have the rum. It's not going to be enough to keep Fada alive. Fada will fall. Very good silence by Abed there. That time he wasn't able actually. The X was not in time with that silence timing to be able to pull him into that boat. At the same time, down bottom, did have I believe trying to pick up some levels on the AA, but Ace was able to get in with the combo. So they do take out the AA. Mid one looking to try, maybe find an opening to, to put a stop to this push. He's got the tire bringer, Arbet. Looking to close the gap with the siphon. Mid one tying around with the torrent. And will back himself away from this tower. So Fnatic's presence should be enough to keep pushing on. They're they rotating are heavily now. Secret want to try and fight this here. They don't have the Ghost Ship up for 15 seconds, but they do have the x bar combo. They'll look towards DJ, drag him back into the Telekinesis, holding him underneath the tower. DJ will get taken down. They keep the tower alive secret, and they push Fnatic away. Same time that Fnatic are able to hold their own bottom tier one tower. Yeah, they know they know that Envy's pretty underleveled right now at the moment. Envy's moving around so much. He's still level 5 on this gyro at almost 10 minute mark, and his last hits are also not the greatest. Maybe over-prioritizing getting this gyro into the fights just a little too early. It could cost Envy if they don't find success with these movements. And so far, they've sort of got the odd pickoff. But other than that, Fnatic aren't able to sort of start just steaming through these team fights. Secret have been responding, and they have been holding. Abed like ah, still has exorcism available, so they could look for some type of push here. But this is the scary thing, right? When you're playing versus just like Kanka and Tiny, there's a lot of burst damage versus this Death Prophet. So it's very hesitant to actually commit into these fights or for these objectives with that ulti. So it will be that armlet build on mid one this time around, as we've been seeing on the you know the core Kanka, the attacker build or whatever you want to call it. Trying to pick up some farm on this top lane. Does have backup behind him. He's, Three members. He's got his level 6 now, and they also have the level 6 on the AA, as well as Nature's Prophet. So they do have a lot of damage now coming in with yeah, Gatter. This is, this is go time. They get a burst strike onto someone, they'll be able to burst them. Yeah. Let's see what they can get. DJ leading the charge. Universe TPing in very aggressively in the back lines, too. Here they, comes the ulti. They can look to die the tower, but the power strike's going to be off the point. Ice Blast will connect onto Fada. Got Envy moving in with a cooldown. It'll be enough to pop Fada for sure. Fada will die. They have managed to find DJ in return. Universe able to punch down Puppy. The ghost ship comes forth, though, straight onto the gyrocopter. Secret get the two for two trade. They're going to get a third. The TP cancelled there by Ace as he comes in with a toss onto the AA. Fnatic, sure, they get the tower. They get a couple of kills out of it. But Secret, they're able to punch back hard. And again, they are killing off Envy's gyro. It was only one track, at least, though. They killed Puppy right at the start of the fight. But yeah, slowing down this gyro's farm more and more. Envy is. He's, at least he's tied net worth with the Razor, that's the one thing, but he is bottom five net worth. Yapsor actually surpassing two of those two cores in the game at the moment. He has a lot of good steals this game too, right now having the Crypt Swarm. Always having the opportunity as a Rubik to get these like uh, these nukes, because then you can like trade off for a different one. You can do these like three nuke combos. It can be very powerful. And that will be a Shadow Blade already finished up on Ace. He can go around the map and pretty much kill almost anybody on the side of Fnatic at the moment. They're all yeah. quite squishy. Maybe Abed would be like the only one that he can't actually just burst down. Universe's life gets uh, a lot scarier now with the, the constant threat of Ace hunting him down. Puppy's trying to get to this courier here. He won't be able to just yet. But he's starting to put down these deep wards, but to watch the movements of Fnatic so they can set up those defenses on the towers. Very deep wards coming out. Fada will be going for a hood. Heavy ma magic damage oriented draft from Fnatic until the later stages. They only really have exorcism as well as that gyrocopter until Huron yeah. gets big. And the combination of hood and rum from mid one's Kunker is. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to make that Razor very tanky very early on. They spot out Puppy right now with these sentries that he's placed. They also will get an instant D ward. DJ they will get the dust. dust. They've got the vision, they've got the lockdown. Boros Strike and Nature's Wrath as well as the Ice Blast thrown down onto the bounty. 
are able to punish Puppy for these movements, but Puppy, he'll say that's a, a job well done still for himself as he's just creating all the space for, for Secret to pretty much farm wherever they want to. On yeah, the, the, the three cores are still free farming. Envy still trying to catch back up though in this top lane. He really needs some HP items to deal with all this burst damage from Secret's draft. Mid one. So hard for Fnatic to catch out kills really until they have the the blink dagger on DJ. He's quite a ways away from it too. Usually, like sometimes you do see DJ incredibly farmed. This game is not really it. He's been getting a few pickoffs, but dying a lot. Three deaths already on him. Universe has got the orchid complete. Actually, the the highest net worth at the moment on Fnatic with his profit. These silences could come in clutch if they can stop the combo coming up from the Kunk as we saw one or two of those times previously. Puppy's on courier sniping duty now though. With these wards down, he did see it leaving the base. He's positioned to wait for the retreat. We'll see if he gets away with uh, grabbing it on the way out. He's going to cut between the, the two towers, but they did see him. for a second. Yep. Getting in tower range. Can't quite cross that little bit of the map without being spotted by one of them. Just uh, the hope there from Puppy that Looking they were bought up here. The silence. They do have the ice blast as well coming in. Burrow's trying for DJ. They've got it. Fado will fall. Mid one. We'll see if he can maybe try and catch someone on the retreat, but the torrent won't quite be on the mark. Fnatic getting away with the razor kill. Very important that they get these kills for Envy. Giving him that he little got the last hit. Okay. In. Yeah, yeah. He really needs to get those last hits so he can get this drum online because he's still pretty far behind. Still behind Yapsor and Fada in the net worth. I did TP down there and pop the dust just seeing if they could catch Ace on the retreat, but Ace in the opposite direction was able to keep his distance. They actually almost claimed that bottom tier too. Ace was hitting that during that whole entire movement from Fnatic. Middle tower is under attack. And mid one will just go for a straight BKB. That's yeah. what we were saying. Fnatic's draft is very magic damage oriented. Absolutely. And, and, and as, as you sort of said as well, with the, the Orchid, at least they have some way of sort of shutting the Kunker out for, for some of the time of the fight. Now he doesn't even need to worry about that. Every single time, he's going to get his spells off. Yeah. Pretty impossible unless you get the instant Burrow Strike into the full ultimate combo from Fnatic's lineup. Mid one's going to survive and he's going to be able to get the job done in the team fights. Scan catches out mid one trying to get that catch onto the Death Prophet there in the top lane. Bottom now, Ace stalking Universe. See what they've got. Look at the opening with the combo. One, two, and Sprout TP. Is he going to get him out? It's not Ace. Simply cuts his way for the trees. How many of them have Calling Blades, actually? I'm looking. They have four Calling Blades on the side of Secret to make sure that they can deal with that Sprout. Even Rubik and Bounty Hunter have one. Top lane Pi. And Arbeb. They have found Yapsor. Easy kill for them there. Yapsor out alone. I think they're realizing that he's playing super greedy on the Rubik, as Yapsor tends to do, right? Like he's sitting on 53 last hits, so he's Puppy. actually been farming a lot in those side lanes. He's gonna Puppy. carry this time. He finally gets it. Didn't have any items on at the time. Now Puppy wrapping around to towards the mid. He's on his own though. He's giving a lot of information. Pi during all this too has been placing a lot of deep wards to be able to try to watch Secret's moves. Especially during that last dive when they went for top, he got that uh, that high ground vision. But Secret, they seem a bit content right now for the moment, farming for those BKBs, which seem very crucial for their draft to take the fights. I don't think Secret feel under any sort of pressure at the moment. They know that they can have the buy the time to, as you say, get these core items before they look to choose to fight. Yeah, and they just keep pushing in the waves. That's like Yapsor's job at the moment is pretty much, you deal with the lanes while Ace and Puppy are gonna just look off, look for pickoffs whenever Universe tries to counter the split push. And Ace now has that Echo Saber, so his kill threat is way higher now. I'll take the tier two attack. bottom. Yep. Fnatic may be in position to find some sort of a trade up top, level 13 on our bed. I mean, Envy is, He's still bottom five net worth. He can't find a place. He wants to come try to get like the comeback through kills because his last hits, he's only got 61. Yapsor actually has the equivalent last hits of him at the moment because of him, him being forced to run around. That'll be another tower going in favor of Secret. Creeps push it on mid. Battle will come in for the glory and he'll find it. More money to the bank of this Razor. They're looking for Yapsor up top now. 
DJ almost has his blink finish too. Dapsor seems to be aware that this is happening though. How are those BKBs doing? Mid one actually has the BKB finished right now. And I believe Fada is Fada's getting closer and closer. And Ace almost has the blink. So a lot of items coming out from Seeker. And they're just I mean this this net worth is getting a bit out of hand here already. It's getting now 8k gold lead. It really is. This is Secret once again. Just looking almost flawless in their performance here on land. They're looking for Pi here, mid one. They are gonna be able to find him. And, and a track. For Pi. Track goal for the team. Secret keeping themselves well ahead in this game. Three. And they're gonna get the D ward on that high ground there that Pi had placed earlier. If like you look at Fnatic's draft, and they, they really want to be able to try to use this exorcism, but they, they haven't been able to yet in this game, no. He just feels like he really needs that BKB versus Secret's lineup for good reason. There's just so much burst damage, as we've been mentioning. With this lineup that the Fnatic have, and especially when you look at it against the heroes that Secret have, you would not expect Secret to be the, the lineup that have taken a Tier 2 already, whereas Fnatic's have only been able to take one Tier 1 tower. Yeah. And they have to be careful too, right? When they have like Pylite die dying in these situations, in some of the games it's perfectly fine. But when you're playing versus a bounty hunter, those kills really do start to add up. DJ now has a blink though, so they have a way to start the fight, which they really were lacking before. But the BKBs are at the ready, at least for mid one and almost Fata. Envy's just, Envy's so scared. He actually just, every single time he's like wanting to step up to farm creeps, but everything's being pushed into his side so heavily. Universe still just trying his best to, to find areas of the map that he can push out. And so far, he's he's beginning away with it quite well. He has only died the once on the Prophet. Ace is on the prowl though for him. He knows that Universe was up top with those trains being shown. TJ and Pi, very close by to Puppy. Puppy gets the ward down. They get the dust though. They do have the sentry down, so they've got eyes on him and they'll put the ice blast immediately onto Puppy and they'll pop him. Puppy will fall, but Yaps are a mid one. They've got the control onto Pi, they'll get a return kill and it is a track kill. And Fada comes in for the AoE gold too, so that's definitely worth it. They expended a sentry as well as a dust. And they get that track money. That's now the BKBs are oh all done. Three goodness. BKBs for secret. How can Fnatic Ooh. run into this? Especially when they're gyrocopter. Envy still just bottom five net worth. He's just not getting a break this game to farm up. A secret with definitely more than enough means ready to push down a lane and look to enter the base with these BKBs. It's going to be almost impossible for Fnatic to hold back that sort of push now. It's a lot of the pressure on Abed and Universe. Abed at least has the BKB ready so he can actually walk into the, the fight a bit. But there is also a lot of physical damage coming out from Secret. The Tiny as well as that Kunkka. They do hit quite hard here at this moment with the itemization. Puppy. He spotted DJ now bottom. DJ is not going to be able to TP out of that one. Tries to burrow strike his way out of the tree line. Puppy and Fada will go for the chase. Does get the blink off. See if Yapsaw can close the gap. Does have burrow strike and the Yule Scepter. Burrows forward. Finds the range for the telekinesis. Tracks DJ back. They've got the kill. Three man track. He's out a little bit on his own here, but. One comes in with a backup and Ace. They're able to pop the BKB. Heals the Envy. five. And Envy just gets comboed down by the tiny. Pi and Arbed trying to retreat from mid one. See if mid one can find the chance for the X mark. And he can. Shrine is there for Pi. He's trying his best to heal up, but at the end of the day, all this has done is bought time for Puppy to come in, get another track out. Pi will fall. They just can't get, they're getting completely outmaneuvered around the map. 13k gold lead. And as soon as Envy shows his face for the first time in the last 10 minutes in a fight, he just gets bursted or burst by Ace. DJ will be able to burrow out from the bottom. This game, I mean, this series has just looked impossible for Fnatic. This, it's completely out of hand now at this point. They've got so many luxury items. And now they're already breaching the high ground. I mean, it's just been incredible how well Secret's been playing this land. This is something that, sure, I mean, coming into to this Corsair Dream League Season 9 land, Finals, you, you would have looked to Secret and say, yeah, yeah, these guys, they certainly got a chance of taking it, but I don't think anyone would have expected them to, to just look as dominant as they have and, and so consistent as well, more so than any other team here that we have a land, just constant 
control of each and every game. Especially with these, like, different-looking drafts, Absolutely. too. They're very unorthodox-looking drafts. I mean, this Br like, Bristol back in last Crazy. time, they're really liking this Kunkka as well versus the Gyrocopter. It's working out phenomenally for them. And at this rate, they're not going to drop a game versus in this extremely, but they do find mid one now. All right. Big pickoff. DJ. This, these wards coming out from Pi. Maybe that's what Fnatic need, you know, a bit of the cast of curse magic. Mm-hmm. See what they can do, though. Sure, sure, you take a mid one down for 40 seconds. Can you actually get anything done with this time? It's in fact, in mid lane, even though they're the ones that found mid one, Arbeg's now in trouble. Gets caught out by the telekinesis. The combo comes through from Ace, and that is Arbeg gone. Fada, though, top, has the BKB available. Oh, he's going to get turned on here. Do it the sprout. Fada, he doesn't have any way to cut himself out of these trees, and that's what we call a classic hard tour. Oh, get Fada, and they'll get out of there. Two for two trade when you're 15k behind, they'll take that. Those little gold swings, certainly favoring Fnatic. They're going to they're going to need a fair few more of them. We're going to a lot more of them. Universe will snipe the courier, so there's a little bit more gold. All right, going their way. But Envy, just about to have this BKB finished up mid one ports bottom to look for him, and Envy will safely TP to base. So BKB's finished. So he will be able to survive a bit better in the fights. They're getting the tools together. Right? They are. But it's going to be hard, ever so hard for Fnatic. They need those perfect combos. They need DJ to kick the fights off big time. But mid lane, DJ has to be we'll careful. Ace, he doesn't get the combo off in time. Arbet will get tracked up. Silence comes out onto the both of them. Will be enough to force them back. Up top, Universe. Looking for Yap. They've got the Ice Blast on target. They've got the Vision for the Nature's Wrath. Will that be enough to bring him down though? I don't think it will. Yapsol will survive. Fada's actually going to be able to come around with the BKB. Pick up Pilot Eye. Cannot cancel the TP of Universe. Universe gets out of there. Yapsol also switched his uh, his no field to defensive aspect right afterwards too to make sure he doesn't tick down low enough to get popped by that and they find themselves a kill. And continuing this aggression. All the lanes are pushed in heavily. They are just keeping tabs on all of Fnatic's heroes with these deep aggressive wards too. They're just so relying on DJ being there for this disable, but all the all the big cores have those BKBs up, so it's really hard. They have to pretty much use everything to burst them down in unison. Universe is continuing to try and find the space up top base. He's got his eyes on Envy, goes in with the combo. Envy will be safe though for the time. The tree. DJ, but the tree! Oh! Taken down. Nice. On point and on target there. They're just not letting Envy have any fun this game. Every time he shows, he just dies. Pie. And they're still just pushing all the side lanes in every single time, looking to get oh, these pickoffs. Their eyes on ice here. The bull jump forward is pretty beefy. Does have that BKB, not really the hero that you want to play around with. Silence comes out as uh, Pi will throw out the Ice Blast. The Pi will fall here. Mid one really wanted DJ there. He was trying to get the play DJ's on DJ's actually going to go for the epicenter play, but he can't get the jump off in time. Fada able to get the touch off, cancelling any chance for a blink initiation. Looks like that, what, the unstable current, I think, hit DJ? I believe so. Yeah. And that stun too, like Ace walks in and because he's already level 20, he's got that big status resistance so that Sanking stun hits him and it pretty much instantly wears off. And he's even gone for, he doesn't even gone for the full damage build as you saw it pointed out there. 20% magic risk and the 350 HP, so sitting at 3,000 health on this tiny. And now they've got a full out pipe on Fada. All the tools for Secret to just withstand the damage coming out from Fnatic's lineup. I mean, they're just getting further and further ahead. It's almost 20k gold, or 16k gold lead right now, almost like 15,000 experience lead as well, and we have yet to see an exorcism. They're going to try for a smoke play, Fnatic. They, they don't have Epicenter, though, for this. Can they really do something? They're going to jump in onto the Kunkka, but he's already X-marked himself, so he's going to be able to drag himself back a bit outside of the cooldown. Now and they're now they're in. just going to turn. Fada, Ace, and Yaps will turn up to the fight. They look towards Arbet. Arbet gets the BKB oh. up, but he just gets chunked down by Ace's physical damage. They'll lose DJ as well. That is not the hero you want to go on. If you see a self x mark Kunkka, you can't jump on him. He's always going to get out, and there's always going to be a chance for the rest of the team to respond. 
And now they get the rush. I think that was Fnatic. Maybe ideally wanted to go for that smoke plane to rush with the exorcism because they haven't been able to use it this game. And still, Streak will not allow them. And now it will get closer to that 20k gold lead and an Aegis now. Pie up top. He's been hunted. Puppy's got his eyes on him. Oh, yeah. It looks like he was able to just juke out of the vision. Pie. He's hiding. He's hoping. He's praying. But he's been found. May actually be able to bring that puppy with him. With that cold feet, he will. I'll take that. One for one trade. I'm sure it was a track killer course for secret. Bottom, fight up, opening up onto Envy. Envy going for the TP out. Will make it away. But this net worth lead growing, growing. Universe nearly has the money for the nullifier. Maybe that will be the answer to these BKBs in search of secret. I just I still don't see how they can take fights. These heroes are just, oh, they're so a, durable. There's a full out Daedalus on Ace. This tiny, absolutely massive. Look at this. All, all, like, the three Fnatic heroes are sitting inside the base at the moment, while Universe is the only one really making moves and farming around the map. You saw how Abed in that last engagement, he pops BKB and just dies to the heavy right click that comes out from Secret already. They're still not able to find any usages of the exorcism. A little bit of a, a quiet time now between the sides as Fnatic. Coming out of the base, but constantly staying grouped together. Secret are smoked, and with this Aegis, they could look to actually go for the high ground now. Fada looks like he's actually queued up that uh, Aghanim Scepter next on the Razors for them to build the force this. Universe has got that another fire gold. Can go to pick it up. Secret with the smoke, will they catch anyone? At the moment, Fada just sort of baiting out a play down bottom. Ace and Yapsa will reveal themselves. They're up onto the base. In fact, Fada just blinks straight in. They're onto the tier three tower. Fnatic, they have to answer this if they want to keep these racks alive. Ace starting to beat down upon them. Missile onto Fada. They have got a good ice blast coming in from the side. We'll catch on to three of them. But no real follow-up. And in fact, Yapsor, he's going to be the one to blink in. Telekinesis onto Envy. Envy backs himself away. There's the jump in. The TJ goes for the Epi. Have they got the damage to bring down these targets? They've got another fire from Universe. They'll be able to take down Fada. He'll get Ace his Aegis. Mid-1 with the BKB trying to move forward. But with the BKBs up on Arbed and Envy, they can chase towards Mid-1. Ace, Ace is, is sprouted up. He's trapped. He will pick up a tree. Look for the escape with the Siphon. They're bringing Ace down low. He'll try and get himself out with the Invis from the Shadow Blade. But the Ghost, they're bringing him so low. Can they finish him off? Pies trying with the right clicks. Universe comes in. But instantly, with a lift from Yapsor, they grab the Nature's Prophet. Hold him up. Ace will still survive. Arbed falling it's incredibly low. Hit the torrent. Is it enough to kill him? There's the jump for for Yapsor with a Crypt Storm. Yapsor cleans up. He's going to get Pi as well by the looks of it, chasing him down, takes out the AA. They've found four. DJ, the last one left alive, but the torrent's through. Another track kill for Secret as they find DJ. Triple kill for Yapsor. The most ideal situation there for Fnatic. They get pretty much the perfect fight coming in with that, with the nullifier, as you pointed out, canceling that BKB initially, but the strength of Secret with this advantage is way too much for Fnatic to deal with once they that They do have buybacks, low. and they're going to throw everything on in this. They want to protect the buyback from Arben. We are going to see the Burrows try come forward. Fada jumps in as well. Now Arben will buy back. They know that they have to use this opportunity to find some kills. Fada pops the BKB, looks towards Envy. Envy, he's got to get himself back to base. Is he going to be able to make the miss? He will survive, but they've lost the AA. And they'll lose the Rax as well. Secret. Taking the melee. Now looking towards Arben. X mark set up. But the self fuels. In fact, he's just going to jump forward. The ghost ship comes forward. Hey, Ababe pops the BKB, but they've lost DJ. Both supports down for a, a fair bit of time. Ababe trying to walk himself back to base, but Fade's brought, built up the damage with the static link. Universe Can't quite in the back line too. Universe does get caught out as he was trying for mid one, but mid one with that armlet able to keep himself alive. TP's back to base. He's got the X mark to bring him back in as they'll clean up that bottom set of racks. Secret now with a 27,000 gold lead. And Yapstar on this Rubik just styling, getting these instant jumps, getting the Ice Blast deal as well. Look at his net worth, top four on this Rubik. And they're ready to look for a second set of racks. Soren connecting onto MV Arbed, trying to slow them down with a multi-man silence. The mid one just chunking through the creep waves with this Crystalis one shot and they're gone. And there's the combo. Telekinesis Ice Blast attempted onto MV, post the BKB, trying to run himself away from Fada. He'll make it. Does get back to the fountain. 
But they'll have to wait there a few seconds whilst that Ice Blast debuff is upon him. It's an Aghanim's Blast too, so it does last a lot longer. And yet oh, the no. it gets him! I mean, Yapsa's gonna stay absolutely worth it. In fact, he may, he may even live out of this one. Yapsa trying to get himself out. No, he does fall. Arbed trying to get himself back. The BKB self fuels. He's so low here. The Ghost Scepter can Arbed keep himself alive. He tries to turn with the Chris Swarm, but the X Mark's there. Will drag Arbed back into the hands of Vase. Arbed falls. Fnatic, they've lost three. DJ comes forward with the epicenter, but there just isn't the follow up damage that Fnatic need as GG is called. Secret are your champions here at the Corsair Dream League Season 9, taking the series 3 to 0 against Fnatic. They just look on a completely different level, to be completely honest, in these games. They just, the movements around the map, they just, they, everyone just needs to be farming pretty freely. And it just, it just seems like there was nothing Fnatic could do in those points. They set back this gyro, back, gyro so much. Envy was about forced to make all those rotations and. Secret without dropping a single game here at Dream League. Absolutely. I mean, this roster, we, we saw it at the sort of the start of the DPC season, having an amazing time. They sort of had a, a bit of a lull, but now they're, now they're back. And they're absolutely back. These wins that they've had here, the amount of games that have just been not close at all, it's, it's, it's been it, the, yeah. the majority of them. This has been Secret dominating team after team right up until these grand finals. These three games were no exception. They just were not close at all. There was nothing close flawless. about these games. It was actually just like flawless performance from Secrets. Just little times they die, saving like in, in like these little situations too. They're so patient, holding their BKBs for the perfect situations, just never allowing Fnatic a, a way back into this game. And this is sort of the problem that all the other top teams at the moment are going to have to look at. If you're playing against Secret at any land in the future, what, what do you even take away from what we've seen from them here? They've played so many different styles, so many different drafts. How do you? even begin to think of ways to deal with Secret? I don't know, Owen. Puppy is... I mean, if you Puppy's... did know, you could probably make a lot of money as a coach. <laughs> Puppy's on you. some real mastermind stuff right now with these drafts. This, this Kunkka versus the Gyrocopter really seems to be a great solution to the hero. And just the all-around play. They're on fire. Understandable disappointment, though, from Fnatic. A team that has a lot of other stuff to, to take away from this land. You know, yep. by all means, they did struggle here massively against Secret in the 3-0 but they had their highlights elsewhere. But for now, Secret are your champions of the Corsair Dream League Season 9. Congratulations. Thank you. It was a hell of a performance. You guys didn't drop a single game the entire tournament. There must have been some, you had like a one and a half week break. What happened? Something happened. Um, I guess we had some talks and figured some stuff out, got some cool picks going and yeah, just got us here. Okay. Can we sit down actually? We have a couch behind you. It can be a lot more comfortable that way. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that wasn't me. Uh, you can sit on the side. Welcome to my office. What's up, guys? <laughs> I mean, I can sit on, uh, you know, if you guys are sitting yeah. like that, I am. Uh, this is going great. Congratulations. Thank you. Back to back champions. Yeah, back to back dream hack. The, uh, two, the two time. The two time. Uh, how, how was yeah. this tournament for you guys? Um, well, uh, we just uh, took a relaxation week, basically. Uh, played some pubs, played some other games too, and kind of relaxed and came in here fresh. Yeah. We kind of just made our own style of plays and uh, kind of went with it. Worked out really well. Can you talk to us a little bit about the Kunkka versus Gyro, which you seem to like a lot? Well, it's one of mid one's favorites to play right now. I can't really go further in detail, but uh, sure. we do pick it for reasonings. And uh, those reasons are good, apparently, and they work out until somebody uh, finds a way to play against it somehow. Mm -hmm. Well, for now, it works out. What was you know the, the change that you've been through the last couple of, uh, of weeks? What was the the problem, the biggest problem that you addressed in this in the break you had before coming here? I think uh, the issue of our last tournaments was that we were very stressful. We were not comfortable with anything really. Okay. Uh, none of the none of the things made sense to us, or or like not perhaps like na namely, there's no point to call out individual, but uh, like it is just stress. It is okay. just like a little bit too much Dota, and yeah. a little bit too much. Oh, and we need to figure out constantly what to do. 
And it's just, uh, it can lead to a very stressful uh, environment and it's just going to be uncomfortable. Things are not going to be positive whatsoever and it's just going to be, you know, pretty bad. But after a week of relaxation, it kind of just works out and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, things kind of solved themselves in a way. And how big of a role is Sunbee's uh, role in that one? Because Sunbee, you're, you're part of the team too, you know, you can sit over here. Yeah, come here, Pete. <laughs> Aww. Well, uh, you know, they Sunbee and Yapsor, they came to Estonia for a week. Okay. That was the, I mean, that was obviously, <laughs> that's, that's obviously uh, the reason why we won. Obviously. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, it's, uh, Yapsor has been, uh, to been tolerated by uh, Pete. Okay. The whole week. And uh, I guess, uh, you know, whatever it, it can be explained from there. Overall, yeah. Estonian Air. Estonian Air. Mm -hmm. That was it. That's, that's actually a company name, but is it actually? Yeah. Oh, sorry, not sponsored. Yeah, not sponsored. <laughs> sponsored by Corsair, though. <laughs> there you are, go. Uh, who are also sponsoring this t tournament? They are actually, yeah. Yeah, no. Really they uh, they tournament. give us some good ass gear. Good. Yeah. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Glad to hear it. So, overall, you uh, hereby are second in DPC. I can tell you that. Maybe oh, you probably okay. knew that already yourself. No, we didn't. No, know. you don't care. It's like you see how it goes. No, it's just like. Uh, you move forward to win tournaments, not to care about your DPC points. Fair enough, fair enough. What's uh, what's next for you guys? Uh, China. So you're flying tomorrow? Yeah, DAC. All right, <laughs> China. You want, you want to speak to anybody? You want to speak to... Uh, we, we choose everybody, because I, let's, cause let's, I already talked to Fado and I'm very happy with that. Cause it, let's, you know. let's go with a mid one right now. It's the, the trophy holder right the here. The trophy holder. Uh. <laughs> what was it like playing Kunka, Hello. mid one? Um... Pretty fun. Yeah. <laughs> you made Kunka, Phoenix mid. Any other heroes that we're going to see from you mid? No. I, no? No, no, no. I'm going to keep it one. as a secret. I'm going to keep it as a secret. <laughs> it's, it, it's something is coming up, but something secret. Something boiling. Looking forward to it. How was, how was the tournament for you? Uh, very good. Uh, I'm pretty confident. That, that I think that's why we won, I guess. How was it beating your former teammates and your former team? Oh. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, I, I would say it's super good. It's, I feel really great. Uh, I don't know what I would say, but great, I guess. Is it different from beating other teams? Because there's some history there, of course. I mean, we lost to Fnatic in Major before, I yeah, think. Yeah, Katowice. So, yeah. I, I feel really good. We got our revenge. Yeah. yeah. Are you at 100% like form? There's no such thing. There's no such thing. Whoa. Okay, Yapsor says there's no such thing. Okay. How, what, what would you... What? Never 100%? Never. Limitless. Limitless. Oh, ah, that sounds very scary. Okay. <laughs> Are you infinite percent? Infinite percent? Not yet, then. He will say yes. Oh, he was... Are you infinite percent? Yeah. There you go. All right. Got him. <laughs> hey, I know that uh, a couple of you play instruments, and we always have Thomas play uh, people out. Do you want to play yourself out? What? You fucking <laughs> no. Oh. He dabbles with the bass for sure. I'm yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm not. No, no, I, no, no. The bass. Okay, so uh, apparently mid one dabbles in the drums. It's here by said puppy says it, so it must be true. And apparently Yapsor is all about the bass. No. <laughs> but he loves bass. He loves bass, but he doesn't play it. Do you want to play yourself out, or you want Thomas to do it for you? Thomas is the man. Thomas is the man. Puppy, you're you're the the musical. Everybody knows you play the guitar. I know Father yeah. plays uh, as well. I play afterwards. You play afterwards? I mean, when Pete, if you're gonna play the trumpet. Uh, do you actually play trumpet? Of course. <laughs> of course. Doesn't he look like a trumpet type of guy? <laughs> <laughs> well, I would know. Can we try? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> it's too rough. Right. Wait, I became a Michael. Can I have the trumpet? Fuck. I mean, only. I want to see the Asian combo, the Asian... Some names, all yours? Oh Can we get a microphone? Uh, all right. <sighs> no pressure, but you, you gotta have... Come on, he needs some backup. Puppy, come on. Like what I want to see here is a, a nice uh, uh, presentation of the Asian fusion we have in our team. Oh. Uh, <laughs> We uh, we need uh, we need Pete Lee on the trumpet and uh, Mid One on those on those drums bongos. He usually wishes to play with, but this time he has to play with the drums. The Asian fusion, team secret. <laughs> Let's go. 
It's going to be so good. Minute one, come. I'll take this off your hands for a second. <laughs> yep, sir, I'm sure you want to take care of this one. <clears throat> you, can, you can stand next to him. You can come to him right there if you want. <clears throat> That's fine. You know what? The moment that you guys start playing, doesn't matter how awful it sounds or how amazing it sounds, we're going to just slowly pan out because obviously this was the end of Dream League Season 9. It was, a, uh, it was a great show. Thank you to Corsair, Monster Energy, DreamHack, making it possible. And, uh, and, and that's it, so... <laughs> you're you're going to be carried by the bass player anyway. Let's go. Yeah? <clears throat> Just do something. Anything. <laughs> Thank you. Can I have that? I'm holding it in front of your horn. Huh? <laughs> no? Blow it out. Just do one one horn thing. Oh my I don't trumpet <laughs> Thank you, that was it. Alright. Thank you so much guys. Congratulations once again. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> See you next season. That was awful. <laughs> that was great. Thank you. Congrats.